Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be going over five gradient boosting hyperparameters that you should know. And you should always tune your models on these five parameters at least. This is all across all the gradient boosting models that you might be using, whether EXG boost, light GPM, or even CAT boost. So let's begin. We first load our libraries. You can refer this page, XGBoost Reader Docs. There are a lot of parameters there. I think there are more than 100 parameters for XGBoost, but you just need to be tuning these five in each of your model runs. So we load XGBoost, we load a classifier, and we see what the parameters are. You see there are a lot of parameters here, right? There's tree method, gamma, min child weight, min delta step. There are a lot of parameters to tune. I mean, there are so many parameters that I mean, we'll be going over almost all the essential parameters in future videos. But for now, let's begin at the top five parameters. So number one, number of estimators. Now, this is also known as the number of boosting rounds. Remember, this is not the number of trees that the boosting algorithms will grow. But as the name says, the number of boosting alg boosting rounds that will happen. If you use a random forest booster, it will grow more than the number of trees that you specify here. For example, if you specify uh, five, then it will do the boosting for five rounds using the estimator that you pass. Usually, the estimator that you pass is a tree estimator. So often, it is very easy to consume, uh, confuse that the number of estimators is equal to the number of trees. But as the name says, it's the number of boosting rounds that the algorithm will do. Remember. Unlike random forest, uh, the trees are go grown in sequence, not independently. All right. The second most important parameter is the max depth. It's pretty simple to understand. It's the depth, the max depth of each tree. So higher this number, the more the chances that your model will overfit. Lower the number, the more the chances it will underfit. So it is critical that you tune this number so that your model does not either underfits or overfits the data. We go to learning rate. Again, a very important parameter to converge to the local minima of your loss function. If you set this number too high, you will converge faster, but you might overshoot the local minima. Uh, if this number is too low, like if you set it to 0 0.001, then you might not reach your local minima even after 1000 rounds of boosting. All right, coming to more uh, parameters. So the fourth is subsample. Subsample is very important if you want to control for under uh, for overfitting. Overfitting is one of the major drawbacks of boosting models. So subsample is the sample of the training data that will be randomly sampled when growing each boosting down. So for example, if you use 0.5, then the boosting model will randomly sample half your training data before each boosting round before growing the tree. Okay, coming to the last and the most important parameters of the top five that you must be tuning for is call sample by tree. Again, it's the fraction of columns that will be sampled randomly when growing a tree. So take an example again, if it is 0.5, then XGBoost or any boosting algorithm will randomly sample half your features before growing the tree. This is also very important to control for overfitting because this ensures that your dominating features are not present in each of the boosting rounds and their effects. And this causes a uh, reduction in variance. All right, hopefully you understood the five important parameters that you should always tune uh, while using boosting models. If you like this video, do subscribe. And if you want to cover any uh, other topics, uh, mention in the comments. All right, thanks for watching.